YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ander, and in this video, I have another product for me to unbox to you guys. Uh, Rapsol, it's one of those companies where they make awesome protectors for uh, the iPhone 4 and the iPad and Android phones and all these other gadgets. So, uh, I got a couple of products for me to unbox and review for you guys so I can test out and see how Rapsol products really work. Um, I've heard about Rapsol for a long time now, and I've been wanting to. Uh, you know, see how their products work, if they really protect, and if they're possibly even much better than their competition. So, uh, here's a box that came in, FedEx overnight. Um, I want to thank uh, Rapsol for sending me these review units for me to uh, share with you guys. And uh, again, for shipping it overnight. So, uh, they really wanted to get this out to me as fast as possible so that they can show how the product works. So, just open this box here. There we go. Okay, so there's only one thing in this huge box that came in. There's only one product, and that's the Rapsol Ultra Drop and Scratch Protection for the Apple iPhone 4. Uh, I thought I was going to get other products, but for such a huge box, do you think they should have, you know, economized and used a smaller box? But again, FedEx has called this as a, let me get it in the camera here, calls it a small box, so I don't know. Alright guys, this is the Rapsol Ultra Drop Scratch Protection for the Apple iPhone 4. Got my iPhone 4 right here. And this is actually the full body kit. You do, um, it does cover the front and the back iPhone 4, as well as the whole stainless steel around. So, if it can cover the lower left antenna, it might be able to help me with reception. It's repositionable, you know, you can put it over and over again, it doesn't, you know, get wary and stuff. It enhances the grip of the phone, and it's also shock absorbing. What Rapsol told me about the Ultra product is that uh, Ultra is, it actually has um, drop protection as well as the original scratch protection. So it's telling me the the comparison chart from the Rapsol Ultra from Ordinary Films as you can see there maybe if it'll focus in. It's telling it that uh, the application process for the Rapsol Ultra is dry. So it's a new technique where I don't need any of the sprays like the invisible shield spray right here. I don't need to spray it on the on the protector and thing or on my fingers. All I have to do is apply it. If it doesn't fit, reposition it over and over again until I get a good grip. So, uh, oh well, let's unbox it now. Let me uh, just remove the tag here. And let's open it up. Let's see here. Looks like they got this out of a shelf, but, uh, all right, so inside what you get with the wrap song, inside the box, there's more stuff in here. All right, cool. The first thing you get is a squeegee, and it's actually just a block of rubber, as you can see. So uh, another thing you get, I believe this is a couple of the solution pads. They do feel wet, so you probably just go on that on the protector, or you clean the iPhone 4 with it. Let me just play it, put it here, and I guess there's instructions on how to do this. We also get this yellow um, cloth cleaner, so you can clean the iPhone 4 nice and neatly. Make sure the, the, the phone itself is clean before applying the protector so you don't get any foreign dirt or, you know, your fingerprint and stuff. And of course right here you get all of the films and instructions on how to apply it. There's a, a little layout here of how it goes, of where everything goes, and inside we have all the protectors. So, um, the first one, they, they put it in order. Here's the front protector. It might not look the camera to you, but there's the cutout for the front camera, the earpiece, and the home button. And as we go along the manual, there's the one for the back protector. And I guess that's about it. And long um, sheet, there's instructions on how to clean the device, to wet your fingertips, I guess with, you know, shield spray I have over there, and just to uh, place it. So. That's it guys, it's the unboxing of the Rapsol for the iPhone 4. One more thing that came in here are the protectors, but for the side of the phone. There's the one that goes on the left side, covers the antenna, the SIM card, and this other one covers the top of the phone and the bottom of the phone. So, 
This is another protector. There's the one for the back. And this is the one for the front. So this is what you get when you purchase the Rapsol full body kit for your iPhone 4. And uh, they also make Rapsols for tons of other products, not just the iPhone 4. They have t they're for Blackberry, Android devices, the iPod Touch, many cell phones, many MP3 players. Their goal is to make sure your device is nicely protected. And with Rapsol Ultra, not only do you get scratch protection, you get draw protection. I'll drop my iPhone knowing that it'll be good. So I'm going to test this product out, guys. Probably do a couple of safe drop tests in a later video just to see how well the Rapsol works. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Quick update on the Rapsol for Ultra. Um, installation was nearly painless because it was so easy to do. For it being a dry protector, not having to mess with spraying on the protector and stuff like you do with the invisible shield, I was actually able to put it on my entire iPhone 4 without any issues. So here's the Rapsol Ultra, got all the protectors here. Um, one thing it did tell me is that there was an updated slide side protection design. And I went to the Rapsol website and I found out that they changed the way this strip works where it covers the, the antenna for coverage and then the stretching all the way down here on the bottom. I mean, uh, the piece no longer comes with that little small piece that, that covers both volume rockers. So that was the only thing that was different from what I saw here on the manual. That piece right there at number six that covers in between. I didn't get that piece, so they probably updated the design a bit after launch, but uh, it's there it is. The wrap salt is all on the uh, on the phone. As you can see, there's a couple of bubbles there, but those should go away as of any other protector within 24 hours. Got the front protected, got the back protected, still some bubbles there. And I even have the side protected. I don't know if you can see the protection. It's really, it makes the stainless steel clear, and the cutouts are just precise for the volume, and then the headphone jack over here. Go back here to the volume rocker, and we also got, let me zoom in here. If it focuses, I don't think the camera wants to focus for us for some reason, but volume rocker then it protects over here on this side. On the right side, it keeps the SIM card tray open. So it's pretty much really good that it's protecting the entire phone. And it's also drop protected, so it's crash resistant and wraps out ultra designed to uh, be shot proof against drops. So we'll see how that goes. I'll give you guys a more in-depth discussion of this product as I keep it on my iPhone 4 for two weeks. It really feels like a good device, like a good product now. It feels more firm. I can tell you right off the bat, the retina display does not have any discrepancies. Um, with the, what's it called, the invisible shield, I did see that there's a lot of little um, wet colors there, but this, this is a dry protector. It really looks like there was nothing there, so it really looks amazing. And I'm covering the lower left of the iPhone, and uh, this is like the first time I tried it on video. There's really no antenna loss. It's still five bars there. I am running 4.0. I'm not running the 4.0.1 update. There's really no need to do that. But I'm, I'm not losing reception as I'm gripping the phone. So if you want a better, if you want the iPhone 4, 4 to be naked to you, you don't want to put that free bumper Apple's giving away, you can just put the Rapsol Ultra on and it'll pretty much get rid of you touching that antenna. Of course, when you do apply it, you want to make sure you cover the entire black strip. You don't leave a, you don't leave a little bit open because if, if, if you do touch that small part, it will still cause antenna reception. So. That's really much it guys, just a quick video of the Rapsol installed, just did it, it took me about 20 minutes, and you keep, kept it, keep the device clean, a nice cloth as a gift, and then this actually, what came in this white bag right here, was uh, actually a moist cloth to keep your fingers moist as you're installing the product so that you don't get any fingerprints on the device, so, and it smells good, I don't know if you can smell it, of course you can, it's pine, it smells really good guys, but Rapsol Ultra, you know, initial impressions, it looks like it will protect the phone. I will give it more um, more of a stress test on it. I won't record my, my drop test or anything. I don't want to accidentally record a video that will get viral just because I destroyed my iPhone 4. I mean, I do have a square trade warranty on it, but I don't want to abuse it. So, Rapsol Ultra for iPhone 4. Once again, I have it installed on my iPhone 4, and I'm going to test it out. So, uh, look more in the next couple of weeks. Peace.